Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to part two of my 1 8 scale Ryuko Matoi Senketsu Kisaragi version review. If you haven't seen part one, which was the unboxing, then make sure to check out that video first. But anyway, let's get to this. What can I say? This figure is just sheer awesomeness. From the absolutely perfect minute details of the face, to that absolute inferno that is her hair, to the masterfully executed paintwork, this really is as good as figures get. There has already been quite a few figures of Yuko already released by some of the companies under Good Smile Company, but so far I have to say this has to be the best executed. The face is perfect, this is undeniably Ryuko. Those determined eyes have been flawlessly recreated. For me the part that stands out about the face the most is that subtle yet perfect sculpt. The face hasn't been crammed with detail, but it just looks perfect. The blazing inferno that is her hair is insanely well executed, transitioning from an almost opaque yellow at the bottom to a translucent fiery red at the top. And of course with those awesome glossy red horns on the front. Moving down to Senketsu now and just look at those eyes. On the outside here the transition from a dark red all the way down to this burning red and back to dark red again. Each individual section of the eye all has light and shadow. Orange and yellow here, dark brown, light brown a slight fade in this one here, and then that light brown pupil, it looks insane. The awesome detail and paintwork runs all the way around to the back, there's the dark and the light. There are not many figures you can get in this close and see that every single line is perfection. I mean seriously, look at that. We even have these awesome clear spikes coming off the eyes as well. And the paintwork, just like the rest, is fantastic. The rest of Senketsu looks epic as well, from that sailor section on top, to all that awesome shading up the arms, to that vent in the back, which has to be one of my favorite design features of Ryuko. I just love that vent. But what really steals the show this time on Senketsu is those legs. Transitioning from a solid black on the feet to that awesome red, and I mean seriously, just look at the sculpt on the foot and ankle there. That is just sheer awesomeness. That is probably the best light and shade I've ever seen on a figure. And then on top of all that, it's in gloss. If the shading didn't already make that sculpt pop, well this just highlights everything. The skin then features a matte finish, as well as some very nice, subtle shading. So subtle that it may not show up so well in the video, but in person, it looks so good. Next up we have those clear effect parts, which transition from an opaque yellow around the outside to a nice frosted transparent white in the middle. And again, just like the skin, these feature a nice matte finish. So next, onto the scissor blades, and if a mix of transparent, matte and glossy wasn't enough for you, they've even thrown in some metallic here. They're painted in almost dark purple, but when the light hits them just the right way, they throw out a nice pink metallic reflection. I mean, for a figure that at first glance just looks so oversaturated with red, when you get in close and really take a look at this thing, it features a whole host of subtle differences. So the last thing to really take a look at here is the base. Pretty simplistic, but at the same time is very nice. Kind of like a dome with the top just chopped off. As Ryuko was in this form in space, I'm guessing this is kind of like an artistic representation of the Earth, without going too crazy and detracting from the figure itself. It's not a whole lot to look at, but at the end of the day, it is just a base, and it seems to be doing its job just fine. I did mention this in the unboxing already, but I am a little bit concerned about this section here, as well as the leg. This is a really cool design and really does make her look like she is just floating there. But the only thing supporting the entire weight of the figure, I do feel there is nothing there to stop this from drooping over time. This is made of plastic, and plastic is a very bendable material. And if you have a lot of figures, you might notice that sometimes some will start to bend. But I am really hoping that won't happen here. So that is it for the review, and what can I say that I haven't said already? This is an epic figure. This is one of the best scale figures I have ever seen. The sheer amount of techniques just crammed into one figure is unbelievable. Solid parts, transparent parts, gloss paint, matte paint, clear paint, metallic paint, insane light and shadow, and with all that, not one single fuck up. So if you're a Kill a Kill fan, I would highly recommend picking this one up. So as always, thank you very much for watching, if you liked it hit that like button and of course make sure to come back for more figure reviews. See you next time.